Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro 2023 tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to make transcriptions, automatic subtitles, as well as how to adjust subtitles including font, color, size, everything in less than two minutes at the most. Here we go. Let me show you what I got first and then we'll go right into it. Hello, my name is Kitty and if you look at my eyes, you know and I know that I've seen some stuff. There you go, that's what I recorded and this cat's obviously seen some things. I wanna transcribe it, the first thing you need to do, is you gotta go to your text panel. If you do not see it, make sure there is a check mark beside text. For me, it's located right here. I am going to go to the transcript and I'm going to basically just click on transcribe sequence. I don't touch any other buttons, this is all good to go right out of the box. The longer your clip is, the longer it takes to do the transcription. But if we look at what it came up with, it goes, hello, my name is Kitty, and if you look at my eyes, you know and I know that I've seen some stuff. It's pretty much perfect. I would go in here, I'm gonna double click on it, and I'm going to go and change that to in my eyes, because I believe I said in my eyes, but that's how you go ahead and override the automatic transcription. Okay, good, hopefully you're following along with me. Now, I want this to be subtitles on the video, so when I render it, you'll see it. So I'm gonna go now, I can go to captions, or I can just go to transcript and click this button, create captions. When you do this, you get a few options, the different types of formats. Basically, these things are all things you can adjust with, but they come pretty good right out of the box. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on create, and let's see what we get. So right now, it's creating the captions, and presto, it's applied it directly to the video, pretty much where I want it to be. Let's hit spacebar to check. Hello, my name is Kitty. Looks good. Okay, but it's not quite perfect. We want a different font, maybe a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and select the captions, and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to Window, Workspaces. Oops, try it again. Window, Workspaces, and instead of the default editing, I'm going into Captions and Graphics, Workspace. When you do that, you can now do a few things, like change the font. It always starts with this Myriad Pro. I don't like it. I'm gonna go with something like Montserrat. Okay, so let's go with Montserrat Bold just for the heck of it so it stands out a little better. I also would prefer it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go, and there we go. I'm going to jack it up to about 86 uh, font size there. And again, you guys can add in things if you want the drop shadow off on. But that, in a nutshell, is how you do it. Just render it out. Subtitles will be there. Thanks for watching.